Hey Google, turn basement lights to 100%. Looks kind of good, don't you think? It does, but I feel like the more light, the better. Even our complexions aren't super pale. Speak for yourself. Are they red? So I've even been out in the, you are fine. Am I good? You're it's fine. because I did a little slap. I feel like it's me, the pale one. Oh, I don't know. I'm... <sighs> I thought after being in the park all day that I would have gotten a little color. <laughs> no. It takes so much more than, at least for me, it takes so much more than that. All right, well, hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Legacy Knits podcast. My name is Chelsea. My name is Sue. I am the daughter mother. Mother, grandmother. And we are coming to you from Northern Vermont. And, um, yeah, it feels like we haven't been here forever, but it's only been a week. We were at our house. My house? Did we take a week off? No, didn't we record it? Yes. But was that last week or was that that two weeks ago? We took the week off with Easter. It has been, we are on a roller coaster right now. April, we knew this going into April, is just packed. I was talking to a friend on the way down and I said, I will never have six things in two weeks again. I am not capable of much. having six. They were all big, they're all big things. Yes, they are. Big. Yes. And it takes up so much space in my brain. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. It's we have a lot going on. We have a lot going on. And it's all and they're all they're not optional things. Like they're not things that we could have been like, oh no, not this time. Like no. No, only only our trip to Quebec was the only But But even that, like the tickets were bought. The tickets were bought. Yeah, Yeah, it wasn't like timing. Oh Oh, my lord. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I just lost my little No. What do you need? You got this. My little key, the key that I just had. Hold I please. She's looking for her key I for her it. needles. Oh, wait. I she got it. Found it. I got, got it. it. I'm going to keep it in my mouth now, yeah. so I'll talk like this. Oh, that sounds dangerous. <laughs> I always wonder why the girls do things like that, and oh, then I'm like, it's me. About it. Okay, so do you want to hear what I was told? So, Aunt Janet. Mm-hmm. Uh, So I started out mainly as an embroiderer, needle worker, Mm -hmm. then went to knitting. And I always had the needle in my mouth. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, if you swallow that, it goes right to your heart and you die. (laughs) So that's what I thought. (laughs) Is that true? Janet. I know. Is it true? First of all, well, could Could I swallow it? it? No, I mean, you could, but how would it go right to your heart? It sounds like travel it down just your travels st- to your heart and it kills you. No, she's out of her mind. I Janet, think, you're wrong. I think she's wrong. I think she's wrong. Let me know if you have... Does your heart have a magnet in it? Like, is that... I don't... Yeah, Janet, like, that doesn't make any maybe sense. Maybe once it gets Jan, Jan. to your heart, it stabs you. Jan, Jan. No. Okay, sorry. No. So that's where I Oh, went. no. Now I can't... Oh, there it is. Oh, oh I don't know where to hit it. It's the screen you have oh, to hit screen. it. The screen. Um, also forgot, per usual, to any new viewers, welcome. We hope you enjoy your stay here. We are a podcast about knitting, crocheting, stitching, stitching. embroidery. Um, Spinning. Literally anything else your heart desires that as it includes pertains. fiber yeah. and needles or hooks. Or hooks. Even, I mean, like, we, and then we also talk about books, movies, oh, yeah. we talk pop about books. culture, like, a lot of fun things. We talk about a lot. Um, and to any returning viewers, welcome Thank back. You. Thank you for being here. We are doing so good with this weekly thing. We're crushing it. Next week, though, well, I get back on Wednesday. Then what, what did we end up? Friday we leave. Oh, this is not going to work. You know what we're going to do next week? What? We're going to vlog. We're going to post a vlog of our witchy Salem adventure. Oh, yes, we sure instead are. Instead of podcasting. Yes. Yeah, we are definitely recording Let's do that. that. Okay. That Let's do that. Me. We'll do like just a fun day out with us because I don't think I can travel. I'm going to Connecticut, back, then back here, then It's home, a lot. It's a lot for back sure. Back here to pick you up to go to Salem. Oh, my God. We're going to Salem. We're going to Salem. For, what is it called? I don't know. The Witchy Fiber Festival it's in Salem, Massachusetts. Why does this feel huge? It's not. She's struggling. I am a little bit, but you know what? I'm back on track now, I think. You can do that while we're talking. Listen, I'm trying. We're going to find out. But it's stranded. Yeah, it is. Okay. But it's three and three. Three and three. Oh, you can. Well, still. No. Because the whole reason I need to do it while we're talking is so that people can see it. Because otherwise it's just okay. bunched. So I, it's, if she screams, it's okay. It's okay. It's just stitches have become undone and I'm yeah, going to take my leave. Yeah. 
so today's Friday. I'm totally, I literally yesterday, Lily, I was in the kitchen and I was like, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. And she was like, no, mommy, it's Friday. And I was I like, I don't think so. <laughs> and then she was like, no, mom, it's really, it's get, get used to them being right and you being wrong. It's, it's oh, a I'm lifelong just, thing. I have gotten very used to it. And then yeah. I looked at the calendar and I was like, oh my, oh my God. I know. See, I thought it was Friday on Wednesday because we were, Your concert, we were out and about yes. and it was weird mm -hmm. in the so, middle of the week. Mm -hmm. It so, was yeah. very, and I think that's what threw me off too. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you came off. Yeah. It almost felt like. When I was up in St. Almonds, it almost felt like time stood still. Yeah. Like that's, that was kind of. Was the, it really nice being there? It was, mom, I can't even begin to tell you. It went by way too fast. Of course. Way too fast. Like I sat down right when I got there and I was like, I am committed to doing as little as possible. Oh, I love it. And it was amazing. Winnie was an angel. Winnie a adores you. I adore her right now. Yes. Back. We are so lucky because Jake was, was our, mm -hmm. she will never go in a kennel. I, I can't even know. No, no, no. It no, would no, kill no. her. It will not happen. So we had Jake there and now we have you and Benny was like, mom, keep me in mind anytime. Yep. Which is so sweet. Yeah. Um, and it's, there's nothing, everybody knows that has a dog. There's nothing like going away and knowing your animal, I should say any kind of animal, mm -hmm. is comfortable and happy. And, and like with someone who loves them. Loves them. I feel like that to me is the biggest thing. Like if I know you love my yes. animal, yeah. I, I trust you implicitly. Ex that's exactly how I feel. So yeah. So Dave and I went up to Quebec and... um. We left Wednesday morning and we were staying in old Quebec city, which if you follow us anywhere, we've talked about it. We honeymooned in old Quebec city mm -hmm. and dreamt about staying at the Chateau Frontenac and said, Oh, we'll come back someday and stay. So for that reason, we were like, well, we kind of have, have to, to stay there. Yes. Honestly, it's no big deal. Right. It's no big deal. Like it, well, it's more to say that you did it. It exactly. And like when you walk in the lobby, everything about that is yeah. just very quaint and exquisite. And, you know, we walk in with our like boots and our <laughs> down jackets, but there was lots of us there. Those kind of people. I believe that. Yeah. yeah there yeah. were. And so we couldn't get into our room right away. So we went and grabbed a bite to eat. We were honestly very disappointed in Oak Beck city. Why? Because it didn't feel like it, it didn't, we couldn't find a French bakery. That's basically why. You couldn't find a French now, bakery? Now, somebody here is going to say, oh my gosh, you missed it. There's a whole street of them. Of just bakeries. Bakeries. <laughs> and I was like, I thought I remembered that. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, first of all, we're not tourists. We're not shoppers. No. So, we weren't attracted to much. Right. But to walk around was really fun and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I just, I wanted a stationery store. I wanted a yarn shop and I wanted a French bakery. No. I thought like, oh. And you had none of those. We had none of that. Bummer. But it still was very cool to stay in that city. Mm -hmm. um, do you see what's saying up there? Is there anything that we need to look at? No. Because okay. that's my, just my computer. That's what I thought. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they were. Okay. So then we checked in around three and it was, it was lovely, but not worth a ton of money. Right. 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 You we're don't want not those people. Yeah. We're not those people, but we're glad we stayed and, um, it felt very luxurious. That's so Very fun. luxurious. So then we took a taxi. I was so glad dad had really planned this all out. Yeah. Because I would have been like, isn't it just easier to grab our car? Right. And then realizing like, I have a lot of anxiety around things. So I had to be like, well, that, this could be really important yeah. for him to enjoy it. And I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. So took a taxi over. It was in the video. I have no clue. Quebec. I don't know. It was a really nice venue. It looked beautiful. It was a really nice venue. It was very clean. Now that I think back on it, yeah. like, thinking the bathrooms, it was a very clean venue. Mm. We saw Noah Kahn, who is a Vermont artist. I'm sure everybody has heard of him. 
Because he's huge right now. He's huge, but I don't know. Like I was, I was telling Melissa, like I was texting her. Yeah. And she was like, I'm so jealous. I'm like, oh gosh, she knows who he is. I think he's he's huge. But it's so funny. So my friend Debbie at the gym said this. She's like, oh yeah, he's the Vermont guy, right? Yeah. And she's like been in Vermont it's, forever. It's like Vermonters weren't aware of him. And dad talks about that. Yeah. Because he's read up on him. Yes. And it's kind of known that Vermont kind of let him down in a sense. I guess so. And like kinda, what, did, what were we doing? Yeah, I don't know. But anyways, it was fantastic. He's... He was so sick. That's the other That's thing. That's what dad said on his Instagram post. Yeah, we thought he might can't like postpone, which yeah. was just going to mess with our schedules yeah. more than anything. But I love him. He seems top tier. He, I think he is. Yeah. I think he is. And it's weird because he's, he's super young. He's only like late 20s. Oh, wow. So you guys would have felt old there. <laughs> That's the part that was cracking me up. I was telling Debbie that this morning too. I was like, yeah, my parents said that like it was just a bunch of like really young, young. like like 20-something. Yes. I wish he had a little more of a sophisticated audience mm -hmm. because I think he's a fantastic musician. Mm -hmm. But he is so loved. He is so loved at every concert. So, yeah. anyways, it was fantastic. I am so glad we went. If we can get tickets to um, Fenway to see him. Is he I, going to Fenway? Mm -hmm. No. I feel like dad is looking and not telling me. Those tickets are going to be so expensive. I know. I'm sure. These were, he got them. There's a website where you return your tickets if you can't go. I guess he's, yeah. he's all about like not scalping his tickets. That's Noah cool. is, which is very cool. Oh, Noah is. I thought you were saying dad no, is. No, Noah okay. is. Uh, all about, like, no, you don't get to charge $5,000 to come see me. Mm -mm. So you have to return them, and that's how we lucked out. And our seats were fantastic. So good. We were in the first tier mm -hmm. right there. Right where the railing was. Right where the railing yep. is and really close to the stage. So it was so much fun. It looked like there are very few times where I'll see a clip from a concert and be like, Oh, I really wish I was mm -hmm. there. I watched that entire video that dad, either you or dad sent. I think he posted a few. Well, oh, he, he actually posted a few and I posted, he posted one. a few, but he sent, sent one where he was singing sticks oh, or stick season, so whatever it is. That, season. And I was like, I wish I was at that concert. Yeah. It's, it's very, um, and the thing that blew me away was his stage or whatever you call that. Yeah, the set. The set. Yeah. It was so amazing. Whoever his, Design team designer or is yeah. it was so simple yet blew me away yeah very impactful mm -hmm. very like uh engage it like it kept you engaged mm -hmm. like i even noticed that like when he was singing like yes i was watching him in that video but i was also i love the way dad kept panning or yes, you i same. don't know who was videoing he did it i did none because there was so much to, to take see. in yeah and you can feel how much he loves his people. Yes. Like his band. What were they wearing? Well, at the very end for the last, when they come, you know, when they come back out. So was Stick Season his, uh, his encore? His encore was, that was his very last song, which I knew that was going to happen. Okay. So he came back with two songs. I forgot the other one. Okay. But he came back in, they all came back in hockey shirts. Yeah. Canadian hockey shirts. Just because they were in Canada? You I think? think so. He didn't say anything about the it. The Canadians love him. They want him to stay. They adore him. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah, so he came out with that, and then, but you know what Dad and I were talking about? So, when we used to go to concerts, yeah, it was it was crazy. Two things: yeah. the sound you couldn't hear when you left. You you were saying back when you guys used when to we go used to, to go, you yes, couldn't okay. hear. I was like, oh my god, like Dave, why why can we hear? Yeah, everything's fine. He said the sound has changed so, so much. much. Yeah, like I was supposed to go see who. When I was pregnant with Ben. Oh, I don't know. Maybe oh. Ben. Maybe it's you. Was it someone like someone Epic? Someone big. Might have been Tom Petty. That would just make so much sense. It might have been Tom Petty. And I decided not to go because the doctor did say there is a chance that the baby could have hearing loss mm -hmm. because it's so loud. Right. This did not feel 
I do think they've come a long way a in that long area. Way. Yeah. Okay, that's point number one. Okay. Point number two, you know when everyone turns the light on their phone? Yeah. You know what we used to do? Oh, lighters. Bic lighters. Yeah, I know. When you burned the tip of your thumb the whole how, time? I don't know. How was that allowed? I, the entire place was on fire. <laughs> how? Now it's like you can't smoke in here, which that... Forget about. I mean, but now they have those vapes now, so you don't even have to smoke. You I know, but we were, they were not smoking cigarettes. <laughs> well, you can vape but, other things as oh, well. Oh, yeah. How did I not know that? Oh, yeah. That? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did I not know You're talking that? to an asthmatic. <laughs> I found some loopholes <laughs> along the way. <laughs> Anyways, it is a whole different experience. Yeah. And it was so enjoyable. Except there's, uh, we were out past 11. I, when you said you didn't fall asleep until so after two, two, I was like, oh, no, no, no. We probably got back to the hotel at one and dad and I were like, this is insane. <laughs> we need to rewind time yeah, and like, not do this. This is, and then like, we are not drinkers. Yeah, so no. I was like, can you imagine? So we got home yesterday. We really woke up and left. That's kind of like Maureen said, are you going to go to yarn shop? It's like, we're just not those people. No, like, I like to be When home. we're done, we're done. I want to be home. I mm -hmm. know. It's mm -hmm. so bizarre. That's and exactly I, me too. I always feel so weird about it and I shouldn't. But anyways, no. we came home. I was think, thought maybe I'd print off some orders. Couldn't even think about it. I was just going to say, I would have been like, get me to my bed. I did. Yeah, I, good. I, I, I didn't go to bed, but I was like, I'm just going to sit on this bed mm -hmm. and stare into space. And not do anything. I think I was crocheting and dad came in. He was like, so I think I'm going to join you, <laughs> but I want to turn on the masters. And literally, I think I did fall asleep for like three minutes. Yeah. He fell asleep and he goes, why is it like we're only able to stare into space? 2 a.m.? That's insane. Why would anyone be up that late? 2 a.m. is crazy. I think 11 is crazy. Oh, same. I know. So anyways, that is our adventure. It was so much fun. It looked like a blast. I am not one to make plans like that because they sound really overwhelming and I'm not really going to want to do it. Mm -hmm. Yet I get there and it was amazing. So... Just go listen to him. You listen probably are no not going to want to go to a concert with him. Or maybe, I would say there was about 10% of the people were our age. There also what about was. my age? Um, yes. No, no. Late 20s probably. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I feel like. But it doesn't matter. Oh, it totally Because we were the super matter. cool ones. Like, you would have been the super cool ones. Okay, I've said this so many times. <laughs> You have always been cooler than me. And I don't say that in a self-deprecating way. I say that in a way where like, she helped me to be cool. <laughs> like the Alex and Ani bracelets. Do you remember that? That was cool. And you didn't, and you I knew about knew it. You knew about them the instant they hit the market. I... And you showed them to me. You were like, look at, they're so cool. And I was like, yeah, they're, they're cool, And Mom. everybody had them. <laughs> and then I saw them and everyone was wearing them. I was like, I know what it those. is. I do like to be very current. Totally. I do. I've always really enjoyed, like, even when I, like, say, I remember when, like, what's a big TV show that it was going to be the last one? Seinfeld. Seinfeld. I might not have watched all those Seinfelds, but I was going to be in on that last you one. You were going to know what to talk about the next gonna day. I was going to be like, oh, yeah, I saw it. Yep, or Sopranos, or. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I've always enjoyed being current. It makes conversation a lot easier when you are. I think it makes you interesting. I would agree with that. I'm probably not still keeping up with that because although I mean, I'm way look more at the current concert. than dad with a lot of things. I feel like you both have your own lanes in which you're yes. current. Like dad is very yes. music. music. Yes. And I would even say television in a certain genre. You don't think so? I have to tell him what's on. Even if I don't like it, I'll have to say this new show came out. I'm oh, hearing this a is, lot about it. This is it. a revelation for yes. me. Okay, this so, is good to know. But then he will watch the show and I won't and, and be engaged with it. Right, right. Yes, this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, Great it was concert. cool for a night. Oh, you're cool Listen to his music. I, I truly think he's an amazing musician. I think he is he's too. He's a storyteller. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, very story, uh, what is it called? Songwriter, storyteller, teller, songwriter. Um, what is that? Ballad, writer. Yeah, he's I just know. good. Singer, songwriter. Yeah. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Why is it black in the corner? Oh, no, it's my shirt is that black. <laughs> it goes black. Black to the yes. corner. Anyways. Anyways. Great concert. I got to say with Winnie, I had the time of my life. Uh -huh. I watched Traders. Because you guys have Peacock, and we don't have Peacock. I don't even know what Traders is. Traders See? is a real, it's, it's a reality television show. What are they trading? It's it's a T R A I T O R S. Oh, Traders. Traders. Oh, so there. You love that kind of TV. I, what is it? It's just probably a, a guilty pleasure. It kind literally of thing. is like not I, that you should feel guilty about it, but no. one of those like you. It's just unsuspecting. Yeah. Um, and it was entertaining and I need to go back and I need to watch more of it. You can come anytime you need to watch I it. I think I might, honestly. You know. I started watching Wonka that night when mm. I got into bed. I fell asleep, but I got about halfway through and it was beautiful. I know. I did not expect I, to love it as much as I did. I was so concerned with, uh, like, what is this going to be about? Like, I, that's exactly how I felt. Like, how could mm -hmm. they possibly make a story out of this? I I really want to watch it again, and I think I'm going to love it. It again. I only watched half, so I need to go back. Mm -hmm. But Timothy Charlemagne, 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 however you say it, was brilliant, he and was I was brilliant. not really. I never saw him in that way as an actor. And then once he hit the screen and he started singing and I was just like, oh, like you're this caliber actor. Mm -hmm. I did not put you in this yeah. echelon, if yeah. you will. Um, and I just, the music, mm -hmm. like I want the girls to watch it, but I do think they might be a little scared at certain parts. I have to watch it again. I can't, honestly, I, I feel like I was very distracted during that movie. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's not really my usual, mm -hmm. but I was... Feeling distracted. Mm. Again, new movie theater. I just I forgot you saw it in the theater. Yeah. You need to watch it at home. I think so. And yeah. the movie theater I had such high hopes for is kind of icky. I remember. It's not great. I remember. So I think I was consumed with thinking mm -hmm. about other things. Yeah, that makes sense. I would watch yeah. it when you're at home. I think I'm going to. Um, so that has been our last week. As yeah, as long as you're talking about a show at the moment, I'm mm. going to talk about... People are like, really? Couldn't you be caught up off screen? <laughs> no, this is what we are here to this do, is we people. Are catching up. And then you will um, get your knitting content. I have become obsessed with Abbott Elementary. I've heard it's amazing. It's so good. I've heard that... It's the office in a classroom. Much like, hello. I know. And I know the actors are like They're top fantastic. tier. Fantastic. Yep. And I just started season two, and... I am just enjoying it. The lead, I would call her the lead teacher, the young teacher. Who's gotten nominated and probably, I think, won all the Emmys. What is her name? Because she's delightful. I don't delightful. remember her name, but I will look it up. Yeah. She's delightful. I just, every time she's on screen, I just like, because she's, she's this positive, beautiful little, I love right, her. Let me look it up. Because yeah. she has... Um, has she been in anything else? Um, that I don't know. Let me see. Ada Elementary. I love her. I love them all, honestly. Uh, Quinta Brunson. Yeah, isn't she beautiful? Yeah, she's stunning. I think she's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And she... Is that Angela? No. Oh, wow. It looks like Angela. Actually, um, in real life, that or in the show, she doesn't look like that. I feel like these pictures never really show. She's a redhead in the show. That's right. Ah. She's hysterical. She's someone. Janelle James. Yeah. AKA Love Ava it. Coleman. Love it. She's so funny. You have to really settle into their personalities. And then what I've heard is that as we're watching, their personalities are developing more and more. Mm -hmm. and it's so good. I need to watch it. It's definitely on that list of shows. You know, you have that list where you're like, oh, yeah, I want to watch that sometime. Mm -hmm. You should when you just need a light half hour. Typically, I don't like half hours. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I love it. I like half hours when I have two hours to watch because then I can get four episodes. In. Yeah. It doesn't bother me in that way. I know, part of me, because I love it so much, the episode, I do an episode usually every morning, okay. maybe two. Okay. I feel like I'm savoring it. 
Oh, because there's only two seasons, three seasons. I think we're on season three now. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's our TV talk. TV talk, and we're just still Shogun and Tokyo Vice. Oh, Dad had it. I had a call last night, so Dad was watching Shogun. I know, I can't. I. It feels so. I just walked in and my stomach like churned. I was like, it's this, totally understandable. Yeah, I I have no desire to watch it. Yeah, it is truly totally understandable. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else I'm watching, but there really isn't outside of those. Those are the two shows that Justin and I are watching together. Um, but there is one, The Gentleman, Ben recommended. Did you oh, watch it? The Gentleman in Moscow? No, that's with Ewan McGregor, though. I'm dying to watch that. I think that's a movie. It's a movie. Oh, it's or a no, movie. I think it might be a limited series. I don't know. I don't know. But I saw, it was funny because I turned the TV on in your room and that was the first, like, trailer that popped up. I really want to watch it. I think I read the book in my book club. I will admit I don't think I loved the book. What, I mean. Probably because I wasn't in the mood for the book. What is the, like. He's stuck in a hotel and for some reason, I can't remember why. Okay. In, so does it all take place in the hotel? Yeah. I think Doesn't it, get boring? I, well, the book, I have a feeling I could be remembering this wrong. I was confusing the characters. I wasn't able, uh, maybe there was a, I could be talking. I could be totally wrong. Okay. But usually a book like that, if I don't like it, it's because there's too many characters yeah. to keep straight. Yep, yep, yep. But I could be wrong. Well, okay, so that's good to know. So he's stuck in a hotel. So I'm dying to watch it. It's giving me like Terminal vibes. Do you know, the, remember the movie yes. The Terminal? With um, Tom Hanks? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like giving me flashes of that, but I haven't seen it. My thoughts are going to be, I don't even think I've seen a preview, that the hotel is going to almost be a character. Most likely. You know, likely. like in that yes. Ann Patchett book? Yes. Yep. I yep. have a feeling about that, and then I think Ewan McGregor is one of my favorites. So talented. Ever since Moulin Rouge. Mm -hmm. Like, There's something about his smile that just feels very, like like wholesome and genuine and I don't I know. Him. Yeah, he's su he's super cool. Yeah. But oh my gosh, I almost forgot we can't pass TV time without talking about Bridgerton is coming back and the trailer is out. Are you not a Bridgerton fan? You know what? I have to start over. I can't remember. You don't it. need to remember. They're all I mean, they're all from the same family, but like they're pretty much standalone. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I enjoyed season 1. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to start with season two because I think I've attempted to redo season one. Over There's no and need, over. honestly. Okay. Like, it, they're very, st in my opinion, y'all can correct me in the comments if you feel differently, but I feel like you can consume them as standalones. Okay. Then I'm going to do that because I did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, and I really enjoyed the one after season two about Catherine. Oh, the queen. The queen. Is what that was what? Her, what yeah, yeah, I think it's called just the oh queen. Yeah, I know. I know you're talking I about loved, the queen season. I loved that more than Bridgerton. Me, I keep waiting for them to do another like character study mm. season. I can't remember I, anything about it, but I Queen know I Charlotte loved. was that her name? No. no. You're talking to me, who's got to keep all these dates in my head right now. I know. I cannot do the calendar's else. too full to can't engage. Can't do anything else. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I love when I've got a lineup. I have a lineup of podcasts that I'm behind mm, on. I love that too. I have a audiobook log I'm behind on. <gasps> Guess which audiobook came through for me? The house one that you just finished. The mm, call home, home. The mystery? <gasps> the oh. one. The one with the pink cover. <gasps> oh, oh, I can't wait. Just like home. I started on chapter three. What is it like as audio? good so far did okay. you read read it i read read it uh oh I so read, this is what it. the cover looks like <gasps> i can't like wait to let to because there is a piece that i'm still so confused well about. i'm already sucked in like it did it does a very and i'm at 1.75 speed that doesn't make you so agitated no because i think i actually read that fast when i'm reading i'm gonna try a different speed try like one point i started by doing 1.5 and it was per like Give it a couple minutes to get used to it. You just sound like, give it a couple I know. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that was really fast. I was thinking that too. 
Um, but it definitely, like, I do think once you find the speed in with which you read to yourself, it it's becomes okay. so much easier to comprehend the story. Okay, I'm going for it. I would give it a shot. Or try 1.25. I, I was thinking 1.25, I'll start. Start there. Okay, all right. I'm gonna um, do it. But yeah, so far, like, so she just came back and her mother is there in the medical bed. I'm so curious her when it goes I say, dark. I quote, mother. Because I don't know if she said you don't have to call me that. Oh, okay. Of course, you know me. I've already forgotten like, half what? the book. But I, I cannot wait to discuss it with you. Wait till so it goes excited. dark. It goes so dark. That's what I'm excited for. Oh, wow. It's just like, what? I'm very... Is it like supernatural elements? Uh, or is it more just like real life? There's part of it that I'm... I'm so curious. Okay. 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 So curious. I'm very excited about it. So I'm listening to that currently. I'm reading a book on Kindle. Okay. I'm doing the same. And I'm reading The Women. Oh, God. I know. And I'm so excited. I told my friend Debbie at the gym. I talk oh. about Debbie a lot. I'm going to let her borrow it oh. once I'm done because we are, we share. Guys, I got you a message. A message. Oh, thank, thank you. you, Charlie. Thank you so much. You're the best. Open it. Oh, it's just my colostrum that I like to drink. Oh, darn it. Nothing fun for Charlie. No, it's nothing fun. I'm sorry. And a dad got his new toothbrush and coffee. And co oh, the coffee grinder. Fantastic. New toothbrush. All right. Thank you so much for delivering You're this, the best. Charlie. Susie that was such Hughes. a big help. See you soon. I love your dress. Nice job, kiddo. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. She just, they melt me. She, though, is in this phase where, Mom, I'm not even kidding. When I tell you, she never stops talking. Oh, I remember that. I remember it with Lily. I, I think, think it's a youngest child thing. <laughs> <laughs> it literally just, like, leaves me... Because it, ne it, it I know. never stops. Oh, I Why do you think I love complete quiet? Oh, my God. Like, nobody understands. Like, I like quiet. I need quiet. Like, I know. Being at your house oh, by myself I was with so Winnie, happy for you. Like, I could hear myself think. I yeah. intentionally, like, like, I loved on Winnie, and I cuddled her, and we give kisses. Well, and, and she, she loves quiet, too. Like, when you talk quietly to her, oh I feel God. like she loves it. We just had the most quiet oh. and it was peaceful and I journaled in the morning with my coffee and she sat there with me oh, and she would heavenly. come up and she would cuddle me and then I'd give her a hug and I'd put her back down and she'd lay down and it was like breathing again. I know. You need to do that more often. Oh my Lord. Yeah. It's, it's, I remember. Yeah. I think it was Ben who was the chatterbox. Oh my, and it's like. Like, literally, when I go to describe it, I can't even, like, there's no, I I know, I know. And everyone here will know, too. I know. I'm sh I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is a relatable conversation for the other parents yes. and grandparents and aunts and uncles yes. and anybody with a small child. child in their life. <laughs> in their life. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But anyways. <sighs> so, yeah, so I'm excited you're reading that book. I started to listen to Horse. Listening might be tricky. Mm, didn't love it. I think they took it back already. Um, I would read, read horse. Okay. That's good to know. I'm pretty sure it's gone already. I have to look at my Libby app. Nothing is connected. It's, oh no. Wait, why look, do I feel like you I still have it? Oh, and you have, uh, do in four days. You yeah. can, how many hours is it? 14. Mm. I might try it on my way home. Then I'm listening to, I started reading the measure. Oh, oh yeah, also, what do you think of it? I think it's really good. I'm just not in a good headspace yeah. for reading. Yeah. So then it came that I could listen. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to listen to it. The, for the measure. Yes. Okay. And then I got, I used to love Chris Bohalian. Boh, I don't know how you say it, but he wrote The mm. Midwife, I think. Mm. I've always really enjoyed his books. I can't tell you what they were. I'm not sure. He might be a Veronter. Oh. I'm reading a lot about Vermont in it, and he was at a bookstore in Montpelier oh. recently. Interesting. Okay. Yes. 
Oh, okay. Did you see that? Okay. Must have been uh, the one that just came in. Points. I know. Okay. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, so The Princess of Las Vegas. I'm reading it. Okay. Thoughts? I like it, but again, my head hurts. Like, do you think you just need a little fluff? This might be a little fluffy. I'm not sure. I'm not okay. sure. This is... So, she plays Princess Diana in Las Vegas. That's what the story's about. Oh. Her and her sister is now coming, and there's a lot of family... It's it's going to be like a family drama and why. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Um, I'm liking it a lot. Okay. Typically, I really like him. So, yeah. Okay. okay. Also, the woman ruined me. The women ruined me because, because that's so top tier that you're like how can i so follow top it up? tier and denise talked about it on her podcast and i agree with her like she couldn't say she loved it because the subject it was it's Hard. there's a lot in there yeah. regarding women mm -hmm. that is is like frustrating and annoying and but i still truly loved it yeah i did love it um but i how do you follow that up i I mean, it reminds me of when I finished The Four Winds last year. Four Winds, The Great Alone. Like, he, it's you, so hard to top those books. You either have to go totally to the other end of the spectrum, super popcorn reader, reading, and just, like, rom com -y. I was into mysteries afterwards. That kept my attention. Mysteries. The, okay. like, whodunit or yep. who's the culprit. Yep, I could see that. Yeah. Um, or you have to find something equally as good to contend with it with but that's so hard with to fire. do yeah. yeah it's so hard to do so yeah hmm. should we talk knitting i mean we are a knitting podcast. we are knitting and we are knitting and i'll I, show because yours is unique great detail i'm very simple well, here yes i am oh here let me get the screen back right working there. this was my car knitting really did want to bring it to the concert but that would have really i think you should have could have either made me way cooler or way not cooler. It depends on your audience. Yeah, it could have. Rachel thought I should throw a pair of hand knit socks at the audience or at the at the stage. I would have gladly if I was close enough. Mm -hmm. April showers, of course, our dear friend Woolens and Nosh Michelle. This will be done in no time. I just have to such a good color going. way. So yeah, that's my knitting. All right. Well. I've got a couple of knitting things to show. Oh, you're Oops. not all the way done yet, are you? Oh, I am. Oh, did you get it all the way on? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're so fat. Look at those stitch. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So that collar, you are then going to sew it inward, or no, is I'm it going to roll? I'm not sewing it at all. It's just a roll. Mm -hmm. I like that. I do, too. Because I was really stressed thinking about matching No, those. no, no. It's just a roll collar. Oh, okay, so gosh. this is called. I'm going to need to make this. It's so fun. It's called the Inga. Inga sweater by Lena Holm Samso. Now when Molly says it, she says it with an accent and it's beautiful. Yeah. I love listening to Molly speak can because you she has. hold just that up so people can take a screenshot if they want? Yeah. Of the Lanit. Here, let me just do that. And it will also be linked as well. Oh, okay down below but here this is what we're working with and i'll put a picture too when mm -hmm. i put this down i would not have been interested in that sweater by that picture it was molly it, it's molly, molly. and I she watched. just put up a new episode i saw that mm -hmm. i'm so excited for this weekend i'm gonna watch it okay so <gasps> here is my version of that now i have so much to say about this first off Brittany Cook, if you are watching this, thank you for the fantastic color palette suggestion. So fantastic. So fantastic. And I love it. So I'm knitting this out of Macaroon, which is the main color, um, Hydrangea. And then was it Fox Paws or Fox Tails? You said Fox Paws. Fox so Paws. I went a little darker. It's very different on the Surrey. Yes. Yes. And that is the other notable thing is I did follow Molly's example and I am knitting the diamond motif in um surrey alpaca held double so oh it is held double i'm holding it double but it's kind of cool because i what all i did is i'm pulling from the middle and from the mm -hmm. outside so smart so it's still one cake i have had no yarn barf yet so smart um so yes now one holy cow holy cow 
This feels like it's going to be an heirloom knit. So like it's going to be around for a long time, whether it's with me or with the kiddos. What size did you choose? I chose a medium. That now, sounds good. I chose a medium knowing that I was going to go up a needle size, knowing that I'm a tight knitter. Mm -hmm. um, super wash, so it's gonna grow. Super wash, so it's gonna grow. But now here was my big thing when it came to starting this sweater. This, and this isn't giving too much away, but the neck calls for size US 1.5 needles. To make it roll? I have no I don't think so. idea why it called for that. No, because that would naturally roll. Yeah, uh-huh. Just by only knitting, So it's right? something to do with the fit. It's loose, but, but tight. Like, look at the way it fits her. That's not, I'm sorry. There's no way you got that out of a 1.5 with a DK weight yarn. No matter how loose you knit. Say, say, say what you mean by that, because I'm not sure why you don't think wouldn't it be so much, to, like, look at how big the stitches are. They are, but not up here. Because you changed them for this, right? No. Oh. Well, I, you do, but halfway through. It's something about, it. it's, I, I get it. It's like, it needs to be looser here, because the neck goes down to here. Yet, you don't want it that, like, I think it's to, to pull it in. What's but, the neck size you use? For me, like what what did I use? Yeah, what did you use? I used, I think, fours and fives. Well, so you didn't go 1.5. Absolutely oh, not. Oh, okay, because so I thought you did, no, and it goes in. No, no. Oh, wow. Because if I use a 1.5, it would be, be such choking. a dense material. It would be so close, it would be so dense. Yeah, I think you made the right decision. I thought you had. No. Okay. Because I couldn't, I couldn't rationalize in my mind a size 1.5 needle with DK weight yarn, knowing the gauge and the tightness with which I knit. Do you, did and I'm you not look even up that, errata? I, I looked up project pages and stuff and like that. Did and Molly use it? Nobody said anything. Uh, I'd be curious if she used it. I should look. Molly, let us know. Let me know, Mal. You might watch. Um, you might watch. So anyways, that is the one thing that I did change. I used... I actually might have even started with fives and sixes. Wow. You also are a very tight knit. Well, I don't know. Are you a very tight knitter? I don't knitter? think I'm a very tight knitter. I think you're a tight knitter. I think I'm a tight knitter. I agree. I think I am too. Um, But I think Molly might be a looser knitter because she uses size like zero, US zeros for, for socks. socks sometimes. So she's probably a loose knitter. Yeah. So like it might have worked for her to use the needles mm. prescribed. But I'm curious in my now. Mind, I was like, I cannot... Even a match because 1.5 with fingering weight so gives what is me 1.5 US. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Like that's my sock knitting needle with that's, DK that's weight. This. That's what I'm saying. I just can't imagine how dense that would Maybe be. Maybe they want it to be super like it, it would give it like it would stand up more. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe but that's it. But wouldn't it also be super tight? I don't know. Let us know, designer, of this beautiful sweater. I know. I'm thinking it's oh, going to no. allow it to stand up more because it's going to be stiffer. That could be. That could be. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Because it definitely is. It's not doing what yours is going to do. Right. Mine is going to be a little more like. Drape, um, which I actually like that better, I think. What you're doing. I don't know. Well, I mean, I might knit another one. Let's be honest. This is incredibly Let's be honest. fun. I kind of want to knit one. I want to do one all in grays. Because I'm not all about the color everywhere yes. for me. Yes, yeah, the grays would be Grays classic. or browns. I could see grays with like a chestnut brown for like a pop here. Chestnut, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe like a silver linings, a chestnut brown and then white for the Surrey. Right, wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah, maybe. I don't want to do it. I don't know. But I just want to do everything right now. I it's feel the, the same other part way. Of this pack schedule. I want to do everything right now. I know, and it's And our impossible. dye schedule is going to be off the charts. Do you know I was done with Advents by the end of June last year? Because we put our house on the market the, week, the end of June. So I would say I was done even before Because then. we had to get the whole house done. Together, yeah. Well, How did, I that know. was magic. That was, yeah, a miracle, a true miracle. That was, I don't even remember dyeing them. That's the other part. And it was beautiful. And it was.
We're back. We're back. Oops, hang on. I got it's too hot. hot. Oh, we overheated. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So what I started to say was, well. if you're seeing this and you want to, and you want to make it, no, we don't have Surrey listed in the shop, but we have bags of Surrey. So you just email us and tell us the colors you'd like. Now, Chels chose macaroon here. Mm -hmm. Macaroon at times can look darker, but you said I want it very mm -hmm. subtle. Yeah. So you can say things like that. Mm -hmm. You can say, I love after dinner mints, but I want it super soft. Yeah. Like that's helpful. Like not as bright and pop. Yes. Like super soft. So, so yeah. That's it's a spiel. super fun knit. It is. You're loving it. I, when I dyed I'm it, obsessed. I was like, are you going to cast it on right now? Like, should I drive it down right mm -hmm. now? Mm -hmm. Because I, I knew exactly. I pictured it exactly like this. And see, I had not even thought, I was thinking something more just like neutral, kind of how you mm -hmm. were thinking. That's so you. Well, and then Brittany was like, I have an idea, hear me out. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, good, done. Good call, Brittany. I know. Because I was like, oh my God, your colors are perfect. And you were like, oh no, they're not my colors. They're not my colors. They're not my colors. Brittany told me to do I mean, this. they are my colors, but they weren't my idea. <sighs> they're so your colors. I am so excited to have this and just be cozy. I just want to knit all the sweaters right now. I know. And I haven't even finished my cable. I put it <gasps> down. I'm dying to work. I have you not get back been. To that. that I couldn't work on in the car. I couldn't bring it no, with me. No, no, like, no, no. no. Um, do you want to keep going with your knitting? Yeah, because I have a couple more knitting things and then you have crochet. I have crochet. Okay, I'm just going to flash this because it's still on the needles. This you is my muscle bra. You, if, if you don't know what it is, it. watch any one of our other podcasts and you'll hear me talk about them. Yeah. Okay, then I finished not one. Oh no. I thought I had the brown one down here too. Well, I don't know. Oh, have I remember the color now. With me. Drawing a blank. Oh wait, do I? No, you I showed it totally. last week. Yes. So another one of my Molly inspired casts on. She was, is very inspiring. She I watched. Is. She's very inspiring. There is something about her podcast that is just like, well, I'm going to make that and that and that. Well, and she also allots time for knitting in her day. Yes. Which is very important in our business, honestly. Yes, yes I agree. It really is. Like, we want to have things to show. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, whenever I'm just sitting and knitting, like, I never feel guilty about it. Because I'm like, well, this is going to be so exciting to share with everyone. To share, yeah. Because it's inspiring. Totally. So this is my bir one of my Birds and Ships cowls. I've now knit two of them. This one I knit with size... Because your first one you thought was a little small. Yes. And I knit it with size fours. I want to say I'm going to knit this with sixes. That would... That would yeah. This is a pattern by Caitlin Hunter. I knit it out of our after dinner mints in our cozy toes base. Love that. It's so soft. It I can't I haven't blocked it yet, obviously. I can't wait till you block it. Same. Because I don't well, I don't finish enough to have a lot of blocking. Same. But I have those two baby sweaters. Yeah. Which one is just... being gifted this weekend. Oh my gosh. And I blocked it. And blocking, like, wow. It completely changes yeah. your projects. So yeah, yeah, right now it looks just like a mock turtleneck, but once it opens up, it's going to be really- It's gonna be really oh, nice. I'm so excited. It's so soft on the neck. That is one thing about our cozy toes. It is just like, you could wear it bare, like bare skin oh, underneath yeah. and just- yeah. oh, so You know though, it's funny because you talked about it and I think Molly talked about it and I think I'm gonna make one for, I'm cold a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, and just in the house, the difference of something on your neck. Huge. I always, that's why I think I wear this so much yeah. because it's like, oh, it's right up to my, I really like my neck covered. It's yes. just cozier. This, so, yeah. would, this would do I it. I love it. And it's so fun to make and it is fast. It I think I knit it in two days. You have been a knitting machine. I, I you can't knit a lot. not have knitting in my hands I right know. now. You, remind me so much of me when you guys yeah. were these ages because 
I have to be making, but I also have to be a mother. Right. So it's like, that's when I really did so much, mm -hmm. so much, because you can be knitting while they're outside and play, totally. and you're still totally there like, yeah. with them because you're a knitting machine and you don't need to concentrate a right. lot. Right. It's, I feel like it's such a gift to be able to use our hands. Oh. as much as we do because it Couldn't settles our brain. Mm -hmm. I could not agree more. It's my public service announcement for the day in case you needed one. For the day. For the day. Um, okay, so that's this. Cast it on. It's a great gift knit because it's one size. I, that is one thing I was thinking knit. as I was whipping it off. I was like, this would be so good mm -hmm. as a gift for someone. Well, and it's funny. I listened to this morning. I listened to Katie Couric's podcast mm -hmm. here and there. I'm not really great about following but her guest was Chris Jenner okay and I've never been a fan of like watching the Kardashians, the Kardashians but I really like Chris Jenner mm -hmm. she's really a super cool woman a businesswoman beyond yeah and she's got a million grandchildren mm -hmm. and she was saying how Easter's done so we're starting Christmas shopping <gasps> yeah which you know what it all it did for me, because now we're going to be newly retired, right. so that's so different. Yeah. It looks so different, and I thought, I think I want to start making gifts. Not for everyone, but, yeah. like, special. Like, I want to make the girls this sweater. Yeah. Don't know why I'm whispering yet. Well, you never know. I know. Like, I want to do some special hand-knit or handmade yeah. gifts this year, and why did I... Oh, like, so that, like... It's perfect. so perfect. And honestly, like, the color mm. shifts it. You know, like, if you yes. have someone in your life that is, like, super outgoing and loves wearing bright colors. You could make like, it super bright. Or bring I some Skittles or String Light Repair Shop. Like, any one of our really poppy colors. Or, like, something like this. Yeah, so subtle. Do you know I dyed Skittles this week? And I love that color mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. Walking in to your house and having to walk by the yarn is literally such a practice mm. in self-control. I, I was literally thinking it would look different when I got home. I, Not that I, I even know it's out there. so close. If I wasn't in the midst of this sweater, mm. I would have probably grabbed three skeins. Okay, so I, I did think, like, when you were showing that sweater, mm -hmm. like, it never goes unthought of for me, and I have a feeling, same for you, how grateful mm. I am that we have a yarn business. Oh my God. Because we're so lucky mm -hmm. to really be able to produce whatever we want. Yes. There's always times when we enjoy like an earthy crunchy yarn, which we don't, yes. we don't really get into that. It's not really what people come to us for. Right. Um, but lately between that and dyeing fabric for cross stitch, which is outrageously expensive. Mm -hmm. And I know why, because I dye it, mm -hmm. but when I dyed the last batch, I was so filled with gratitude that I could have whatever piece I wanted. Just that access. The access. Yeah. I'm so grateful for. Yeah. And when you showed your sweater, it was like, how lucky are we? Oh, my God. It's such a privilege. It, it, it really is. Yeah. I, it doesn't go unnoticed with me ever. No. Same. I feel the same for you. It's yeah. like we're working with really luxurious stuff. It that, is such a blessing. Is is not always affordable. Totally, not always a lot affordable. of times. Yeah. yeah. So, it's yeah. My little another maybe, PSA of the day. One. I'm full of them. I can't help myself. PSA of another the day. Another will come. I'm sure. I'm positive of it. Okay. I'm sure. Of my it. very last knitting project to show. <gasps> um, it's so funny because I just haven't finished the toe. Oh, I would do that. Oh, well, I'm going to, but I couldn't find the needles for the longest. No, I would leave it like that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had two of these. Anyways, okay. So we came out with our spring chicken collection and I cast on with Shelly. our Shelly sock set. Yes. And here she is. I am knitting the heel toe do -si do pattern by oh, Kay Litton, AKA the crazy sock lady. I love that pattern. I, okay, so I started knitting it. So I've knit a pair of these, but only a shorty pair. And I started knitting the pattern. And I was like, gosh, I remember it being it, it being um, really intuitive. Like I didn't have to look at the pattern. Not at the very, very beginning though. It took me like five rows or five. Yes, always. And then I was like, 
Oh, I got it. Because you have to be able to see it. You have to yes. build it to the point where you can you see can read it. it. Exactly. Yes. And so when I hit that point, like five or so rows in, I was like, <gasps> it is. Okay. And so then I got to the toe and I couldn't remember where I put my mini skein or my DPNs that I needed to close it up. So I was like, yeah, let's try another one. Oh yeah. I do it all the time. Um, so anyways, but I'm, I'm excited to get this toe done so that I can cast on another pair of socks. I think I'm going to do all heel toe do -si dos with our chickens. Oh, uh, can I, let's talk about yeah. our chicken collection. Let's I should it. have brought some with, I think I don't have a lot, but I have some. Uh -huh. It's funny. Cause when we decided to dye that, it was at a hectic time. I don't know why we were... Maybe. I think it was like between DK Mini. It was just kind of wedged in with a whole bunch of other the books. things. Between the books and the DK Minis and Do I Die Another Book? Ye oh, yes. Cover. Yes, and yes, then yes. We had talked about this. It's like, oh, geez, I haven't done those yet. And I yeah. just was like, I'm just going to do them. I love them. Oh, my gosh. They're so I good. I love them. I don't know. Because it was kind of a frenetic time for me dying wise. And yeah. I just like, boom. Yeah. Now I look at them. They're when so I did them, I was like, good. no, I like them. I like them. I like them. Yeah. No, I love them. I, so I want a pair of each. I'm going to make them. Yeah, that's exactly what I And these kind of look like feathery to me almost. With yes. the different, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. And Ruthie was the one I was like, yeah, it's okay. Now. Obsessed. I love Ruthie. Obsessed. She's the one I'm casting on next. That's why I'm like, I have to get this toe done so I can cast on Ruthie. Mm -hmm. I can't decide if I want to do the different color. This different color. Like, that's her egg. Those are her eggs. It's such a part of the whole thing. It's huge. I might have to do them in different colors. Too. I'm doing, I'm just, I never do the heel because I feel like there are too many ends when I you agree. do the heel. That's a great solution. Yeah, I just do the cuff and the toe. That's a great solution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solved. Yeah, and so that's what I've been knitting on and I am obsessed. I use... Just a few details for those that are wondering. Size US 1.5 nine inch circulars from Haya Haya Sharp. I do a classic heel flap and gusset. And I do a one by one um, cuff. Now the one thing that I did not, so typically with patterns, I don't look at it for the stitch count or the cuff because I just have my standard go-tos. Um, but when I first started the pattern again, I noticed that her cuff is twisted rib. And I was like, oh, that would be really pretty. So I might do that for Ruthie. I would definitely, but I also think it's, when it's one by one. I know. It's, it, I feel like it doesn't matter at I know. all. I know. We'll see how. Oh, shoot. Now I want to cast those on my own. Oh my gosh. You should. You should. I'm in the Although, middle of stitching a project that I'm loving too, which is killing me. Oh no. Because I want to be stitching and knitting at the same time. Could we have four hands? Like this hand will do the knitting. And yeah. This... That would be so Why nice. Why somebody... Like one big hand and then a little mini hand over here. <laughs> That's really And then really one creepy. big hand and then a little mini hand over here. So we could just Reminds like... Reminds me of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Saturday Night Live? tiny hand. Oh. Which I can't stand that. Like, I hate that character That's so creep you out. much. It's so creepy. <laughs> That's what was in my head just then. I mean, we could just... Anyways. Anyways. I messed up, though. I'm so mad. I did... <sighs> I dropped a stitch somewhere within the yarn overs and the... And I need to pull back because I can't fix it. You can't fix it. I, or just I tried. Fake it. I tried. And it's just not working out. All right. Darn it. So I do have to... Maybe I'll... I you talk about your crocheting you. and I'm going to pull this out. Okay. I agree with you as far as the pattern really lends to the chickens. The, the, it's like feathers. It really is. Thanks, Kay. Thanks, Kay. Right, the best patterns. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I always get obsessed with crochet. 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 Also known as crochet. When we're feeling fancy, we call this, it okay? crochet. Oh, it worked. Oh, worked. I worked. Yes. So. And I love Nauticurl. Yep. Uh, who's crochet. Crochet, who's Mallory. I love her patterns. And I probably could have figured one out close, but I wanted to support but why? her. why? Yeah. Yeah. So it's this is the Huga Sunburst. Yes. Pattern by Nauticurl Crochet. Mm -hmm. Chelsea will give you all the information. It'll be down in the description box. And what really got me was Lacey's use of our DK... Advent, Advent last yep. year. Yep, yep, yep. So I have a million DK skeins laying around. Again, how lucky. How lucky. Like literally, I can, 
it's weird. Like I literally go like, oh my God, I can do it. I can do it. I don't have to go to a store and spend money and yep. blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I didn't bring what I've already put together, which yes, I am crocheting it together. So I'm crocheting each one in a strip. I haven't decided. I didn't bring it because I can't decide the size I want. And I really just wanted you to see all the beautiful colors. The colors. It's just like the beautiful, a beautiful framed sampler of each color. Yes. And so I do, I single crochet them together, wrong side to wrong side, I think. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So you put yes. wrong sides wrong facing side each to wrong other. Side. I crochet them together. I'm sure there's a YouTube video. And I'm going to make it as long as I decide. And I'm going to have all those. And then I'm going to crochet them down beyond well and it's fun too when you crochet them together because it's not quite as tedious i think it's it's a clean look too it's a consistent clean look i haven't done it in a long time quite often i crochet them together as i go oh and sometimes i like that sometimes i don't well it depends on how motivated you are i, I know like. it doesn't feel it feels like it could come apart with weight so i want it to be super secure and there's something different so I have been crocheting like crazy. Crazy. Now on that pattern, I believe she uses different colors. So she has to end each row. Like don't end the row. You don't need to end the row if you're using your uh, uh, DK minis. Now what I'm finding is I can easily get two out of it. And then I've got some left over that I should have weighed I didn't Why? weigh them because oh, just so to people see if I know. could get a third. Oh. I should just try to make one. That's easier for me than going to get the scale. The scale, yeah, yeah, Blah, yeah. blah, blah. So this is the pile of all the delicious DK minis. If you've been in our club, they're so delicious. Is that the one that I'm obsessed with? Yes. I think it is. Yes. That pink. So I also, like... I weave, I crochet in my ends. I just haven't snipped them because I want to make sure they're long enough. I crochet as I go, which thank you. You're welcome. Which I love. So, and then I'm using vanilla bean DK. So what I did discover is I used one skein and I believe I got 25 squares out of it. So say you decide, so I did 25 Ah, with 25 rounds. rounds. Okay. The okay. outer round. So if you're like, oh, I want to make it, but I don't know how many, like that's just for your information. Mm -hmm. Also, it's vanilla bean. So if you ordered four and now I need five, it's not an There's issue. There's no dying yeah, to be considered. It's, it's not an issue. So there you go. I'm obsessed. It's going to be beyond. I, and so once you're done putting them all together, are you going to do an outer yes, border? What I are you will. thinking for that? I don't know. I'm going to see what she has on the pattern mm -hmm. and then decide. Mm -hmm. I think it will be something fairly simple. Okay. Um, I, I have these that I've been doing. Oh, my God. Look at this one. Isn't that crazy? Yes, and I, I remember crocheting. I one. remember when I dyed this, I was like, I don't know. Oh, it's so fun. I love it. So this has been just my go-to. I love to crochet. Oh, I, I do love too. to have a crochet project. Um, I love the rhythm of it. I love the mindlessness of it. It's so Quite often when you're doing these, like you'll get the pattern pretty quickly. It's mm -hmm. not that hard. Um, I can just do it now. Now, if I walked away and didn't pick it up for three to four weeks, yeah. I would need to refer to the pattern. Mallory, I love, I've done a lot of her stuff. You have. Every time you have a crochet project, I feel like, oh my gosh, it's, it's another one of Mallory's. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram, which is helpful. Yeah, And uh, I do love to crochet. So... What was the size hook I used? No, I don't know. I put, you oh, told wait, me I a millimeter, it. I it, and I don't I remember it. what I put. I have it. 3.5 millimeter. 3 .5. I love this hook. Oh. I don't know the brand. Uh, I don't know either. I don't know the brand, but I oh, wait, love it. I yeah, no, no <laughs> idea. It is a really cool one. Yeah, I love it because it's got this flat piece here. I need now... Growing up, I used plain old Susan Boy oh. metal crochet hooks. 
I need something that's got some sort of give to it yep. for my hands. Yep. And I've been working on this a lot, and my hands have not been hurting. That's at amazing. All. I'm yeah. so bummed I don't know what kind of a hook that is. I feel like I've had to go to like Joanne Fabrics or Michaels for a lot of my hooks. Yeah, so look look there. Look there. I don't know. 3.5. It's what I had. I'm so lazy. I don't even know what she said to use. Oh, but I feel like you know you know, I know what that, works for you. I know you. how I want it to look. Yeah. And it looks really nice. So that's my crochet. I love it. I really love it and I can't wait to see it all put together because I feel like it's just gonna make those colors like. I know, part of me wants to make it gigantic for the bed. I can't make up my mind. Oh my gosh. I know, I can't make up my mind, but I'm, I'm basically obsessed. I just wanna be making all the time. Me too. I have a tank top pattern <gasps> by Kadri or, let me see if I can find it on my iPad. Okay. And show you that I wanna knit. I was talking on my Twitch stream the other day. Um, I want to kind of revamp my, not wardrobe, because I don't really have a wardrobe, let's be honest. It's mostly t-shirts and sweatpants. I've got pants. nothing. Um, but I do have a pattern that I want to knit like three or four of. Um, you know what I feel like I want to do? Maybe this will be something I my goal. I want a capsule wardrobe. Oh, I would love to have I a capsule do. wardrobe. I do. Maybe we should focus on that. I would love it. I feel like I need help with it because I, oh, these are, who is okay, this? Okay, so it's Kadri, C-A-I-D-R-E-E. -E. She does have Never her patterns her. on Ravelry. Never heard I of her. I forget who it was that introduced me to her, but where <gasps> is it? This one. Oh. Because it's garter and it's boat neck. <gasps> oh, that's so you. Isn't it cute? Oh, yes. Um, Let me see what kind of yarn. Fingering weight held double. Wait, what? Why wouldn't you just go to DK? Uh, well, because would that be a worsted though? No, no. Um, oh, I would think of it as DK, but I don't know. So it's that, and I just love the garter of it. What are you thinking for color? I don't, I want them to be, again, very classic, classic. like very capsule-y. So I would say probably a vanilla bean, a silver lining. So you want to make a couple? I'm going to make like three or four. Oh. I think. I love it. I just feel like they're very classic, but all of her patterns. They, I will link they do. her website. Uh, and send, would you send that to me? Yes. Um, just like even just her info. Yeah, I will, I'll send you her Instagram. Um, yes, that would be good. Cause all of hers I, are very classic. I think we need to do this. I want to get some linen, like I need a linen skirt, I think. You Mom, have a linen skirt. No, I don't. Oh, I, I you need did. one. I feel like I would like a linen skirt mm -hmm. for the summer. Um. I love linen pants. I don't have really high quality linen pants, but I but they're nice. Yeah, I like them. Yeah, old navy. I really like them. Yep, same. I just want a couple of like nice, like longer skirts or yeah, even same. a dress that I can throw the tank top on over. over. I love that look. Um, but like, look at how many she has. So that's the one that I want to knit. But then there's also the camisole. One. There's the ribbed camisole. Mm. Do you know what, uh, you know what's back? What? Well, I say this, I'm so not a trendy fashion person. That is some place where I fall very short. But what? when I walked into Old Navy, the blazers, suit jackets. Those are, are they oversized? Or are oversized. They, yeah, yep, and that's I definitely a thing right now. Yeah, I saw Julianne Moore was on Kelly Clarkson, which I've never even watched. I've heard show. it's a great talk show. It's I've decent. never watched it's it. It's decent. We we were like staring into space. So oh yeah, it we came on. <laughs> and um, Julianne Moore had one. It was very over. It was almost too oversized. I thought because mm -hmm. she seems like kind of a tiny human. Yeah. Um, but when I went into Old Navy, I saw a lot. I've got to go back today. Mm. I just am not interested in. That's why I thought maybe if we sat down and figured out a capsule wardrobe, that would be interesting. Be very fun. Because I'm all about planning and making. It would be a, f it would be a fun way to plan the rest of our year and make. I feel like let's try it. Between that and working on some Christmas gifts. Yeah. Like special Christmas gifts. Yeah, I totally agree. Okay, we're get we've got to go. We're super busy. Mission set. <laughs> yeah. I want to sew. I want to sew, and I, I don't do know too. if that's realistic. 
I know, I wish Amanda lived closer because I would love to have her come and just kind of teach us the basics. I think Amanda is one of the most brilliant humans. Brilliant and like just effortlessly cool. Cool, so cool. Effortlessly. Yeah, like does everything. So talented, does yeah. it like, like never sewed in her life. I'm just saying that I'm not sure. And yeah. makes jeans look like just her whole like jeans. she's just always sewing now. Yeah. I'm like We're talking about doghouse pottery, who, Amanda, which is no more. She doesn't do no, that anymore. She doesn't. She's also a fantastic potter. Yeah, she will again someday. Probably, I would say she will again someday. Probably. But she's all about making right now. Yeah, she's a knitter now. Knitter. She's a sewer. And again, not a knitter. A knitter. A knitter. Like, you should see the sweater she's knitting. Anyway. <sighs> Could I buy, like, um, 20 years of someone's life that no longer cares? I don't know. You don't like that either. I but don't like, know anyone like that. Could, I could think we? That's, isn't that, like, the premise of every movie where it's, like, you make a deal with the devil? Oh, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I feel like that's oh, always boy, the premise, Boy, I could be though. tempted for 20 years. 20 years? Oh, man, darn it. And just to have your aging paws here. I'd like it to go back 10 Maybe years. Maybe rewind. So rewind 10 years. 50. I loved 50s. And add on 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I still have 20 years left. Oh, at least. You still think I'm like 45, though. You've got great genes. I do. I do. But I want them to be very mm -hmm. constructive. I, I am all about that. Quality. Quality. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's leave you pondering that. Do you Everyone's have a time like, dealer out there? Can you imagine? No, that would be so If I cool. had to be poor for the rest of my life. Yeah. But I could have. 20 extra years. 20 extra years with all the stuff I have because I've got enough stuff. Right, right, right. We have make. enough to last for, for at least lifetimes. Yeah. And then you could always buy for me because you'll. Totally. Yeah. You found okay. the loophole already. Found the loophole. <laughs> guys are like this is a knitting podcast and you talked about knitting for 10, 10 minutes, minutes maybe. okay all right everyone well thank you so much for being here if you enjoyed this video as we always say please like and subscribe Sorry. it will help us gain exposure to the rest of the crafting world that needs entertainment um wasn't that dance video we sent you amazing oh, phenomenal. oh my god so okay good we could talk about we were just choreographing hours. there a little Right. All right, everyone. Well, thank you for being here. Be and best. we won't see you next week, but we will try our best to get a little vloggy vlog, vlog for you because we are going to a bull festival. I can't wait to be amongst people Same. in that way. Mm -hmm. It's been since not last Rhinebeck, the one before. Before, yep. So we need to be out with our people. If you're going to be there, say hi. And it's called the Woolwich Festival. I don't know. I don't it's know It's in either. Salem, Mass. Just... Google witch, yarn, Salem, Mass. It'll come up. You'll find it. I know nothing, but we're going. We're going. And it's going to be fun. Gonna and be we're going to take you along with us. We're going to take you along. It's going to take you along. I'll try to help her with that. Okay. All right, everyone. All right, bye. Oh, wouldn't be a podcast without us saying, needles up. Needles up. Bye. Bye.